Hello there. Welcome to another video. I'm another Magento dev. We're going to do something around Deploy HQ now. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, I've set up for a set, set myself up for a test account here. You get one free free project um, and five deploys in 24 hours, pretty much. I think. Um, which is more than enough for testing and um, might even be more than enough for a small site um, obviously you're just gonna have to put something uh, something stringent in there about how much you deploy when you deploy which to be perfectly honest you, you should do I mean you know clients can be quite pushy and um, we can all make mistakes and want you know want to fix our own bugs but we don't want to be deploying too much to a site in, in a day particularly if it's a production site because we're gonna have a negative effect on its performance and and, and what have you so it's always one of them things that is a little bit of a um a little bit of an overlooked um aspect of a of like a go live process or something like that you know when you've just launched the site and you know that they're, they're complaining about this that and the other they want to change this that and the other it's not necessarily bugs it's not your fault but all of the deploys you end up doing in that sort of that knee jerk stage of a of a goal have can be <clears throat> can be detrimental to the performance that the client's complaining about so anyway food for thought with regards to deploys there um you're welcome this is obviously better looking than deploy bot um, and and let let me tell you i've tested this as you can see it's faster as well like it deploys faster it's better than DeployBot. So DeployBot is paid, the one I showed in, a, in the other video, I'm gonna put a link to that video there, um, where I set up a, 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 a normal deploy um, through Magento and just went through how to do it. So this video is, is just looking at what Deploy HQ has to offer really. Um, okay, so in terms of pipelines and terminology, like we would we would talk about a deploy pipeline as being two different ways of deploying something. Um, um, this talks about deploy pipelines, but it sort of, it does it in a different way. And I'm gonna show you what I've figured out as being kind of a workaround in able, for it, so you're able to get a couple of different deploy, well, as many pipelines as you want. It, it's more processes, it's more, it's more the way you set up your, 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 your um, commands for different processes and different and to deploy to different sites. So I've got one project here. It's my M two four one. It's basically this one that I've been working on for you know demonstration purposes and what have you. I've got some commits to go up, so we'll we'll do one. But the one I wanted to concentrate on on this one, the last video I did for deploy but was a standard Magento deploy with downtime, strict downtime. Now there's no such thing as a zero downtime deploy. I always thought there was. I always thought you could get a zero downtime deploy in, in, in Magento. You can't. There's no there's no there's no such thing. Um not if you're deploying something substantial. Um so we're gonna call it a zero downtime deploy, but it's a minimum downtime deploy. And the reason is you're always gonna have to go to a holding page when you're running setup upgrade. So if you're running setup upgrade in order for your changes to appear um correctly now i've done some tests where you don't run setup upgrade and you just run um you just clear all the folders and you just run static content deploy or something like that now on all the servers i've tested this on one it's very difficult to get changes through you know like in in a sense like it, it's as if the system doesn't doesn't clear properly for being able to um to, to display them changes so have a go with that yourself see if you can get it working on your particular install I, I didn't have any joy with that so I was going to do a, a, a video on it and show people and, and you know if it worked to say look here's a way you can actually get zero downtime deploys because effectively you won't have a, a downtime deploy a, any downtime on that type of deploy but I always found something skew with happened like for example like Elasticsearch won't restart or or it'd go down or it'd be really difficult to to clear your php uh, fpm cache stuff like that and and basically you wouldn't see your changes so running setup upgrade because it clears all your folders clears all your generated content folders it does a proper flush of the system and a proper deploy and all your all your changes then show on the front end so we're going to go with that concept like a minimum downtime deploy that's going to be my recommendation it's going to be minimum downtime rather than zero downtime achieve minimum 
and then we'll strive for zero and see if we can achieve it in the um, in the future. Now, oh, I will caveat that if you're using containers um, like a host that I know and with their own deploy system called Corefinity, if you want to check them out, um, effectively they do do a zero downtime deploy because setup upgrade runs in a different container, and and the, and basically they use nodes to keep your website online whilst setup upgrades running and then they deploy the other node rather than this concept what I'm going to show you now which is release folders now I have gone on now for five minutes and I hope you've stayed with me because I'm going to get into it now apologies okay that being said <coughs> zero so I've got two projects here this one was just a test version of the one that I set up on deploy but you can see I had a few failures here um, and essentially the commands that I was running on this were um, before the before the release link was generated, I was running Composer install, and the way you set it up with Deploybot is in these little boxes. It's quite good. So then you, you specify in this release path. You can get your variables from from here for all these different things. We've got like tags, count, uh, environments. All the, obviously this is not just for Magento. This system it's for, it's for everything. So the one I was using was was release path. Uh, because I was only using a release path in this one so it was a standard deploy and I set this command to every deployment because I wanted um, actually that was a zero downtime command just one sec yeah sorry so I've, I've labeled these so this is off zero downtime so that's why I'm, I'm, I'm getting my release path because everything's going to build in the release folder and then it's going to switch a sim link to the current folder so they're going that's going zero i'm running di compile on my zero downtime deploy then i'm composer dumping which is just dump auto load which is something that's recommended uh, then i'm deploying static content right i'm doing it in this order to minimize downtime right so then once set the setup content static content has run i've got a built magento the only thing that then needs to run is like step up upgrade essentially so we'll just skip past these commands so this is my other deploy this is the standard deploy that I was talking about that I got mixed up there this is the one for deploy bot so m24 is the one for deploy bot and I'm running just these commands in in, in order composer you know the same as what I did in the other video composer maintenance remove cache folders set up upgrade every time di compile site content flush cache maintenance mode uh, disable maintenance mode um, and then your stores ready but you're going to have about five minutes downtime for, for that sometimes more I've had 15 minutes before if the server's running running those commands quite slowly so back to the zero you can see here so those are running first before the release links generated in the release folder and then I'm quickly banging on maintenance mode I'm running setup upgrade with keep command so what that is is this little beauty here keep generated so what that does is it runs setup upgrade but it keeps all your static files so setup upgrade natively without that removes all your static files and folders um, and then once and then expects them to be rebuilt um, so if we just jump back then so that's going to run quicker than putting maintenance mode on at this point and running everything so it's a minimum downtime deploy maintenance mode on flushing cache so those are the commands and I've, obviously you know what these are by now each time I'm see I'm having to CD into the current path now this is a thing of this is something to note for deploy bot even though you set up your server um, here so I've got this server set up even though you set up your server and point it to a path um, where was it? you did specify there we go deployment path so I've set up a deployment path called app for this server and um, because I, I, I didn't I didn't want to use public HTML I just wanted to use app so even though I've specified that the commands won't run in in the commands sort of run from your root and then you have to specify the path you want to run your commands in on a zero downtime deploy so that's why you need to CD into the release folder because that's that's why I want them commands to run I don't want them to run in the current folder for example because that will bring down the site that that is displaying to the world um, and this is the, the site on the front end here that, I, that I'd last deployed. So I'm just going to run a deploy and show you how all that comes together. Um, we have got a deploy deployments section here. So I'll just go over that actually real quickly. So the the, the, the server's real easy to fit. So obviously you've got to file all these IPs and I just did a couple of them, uh, these ranges. Um, port 22, I've just connected SSH to 
to to my path created a new folder cleared everything else on uh, by the way app that whatever folder you create needs to be empty you can't have anything in it when you're running your zero downtime deploy for the first time it's got to be uh, it's got to be empty i'm just saying look um, they call it atomic but that's zero and um, two two folder releases so you can set that to how many you, you want to save to be fair with magento it's it's not worth saving saving many at all because um because because of the, the damage you could do to the database in, if you have a botched de deploy it doesn't matter what the file system is you might as well just build a new file system out and deal with the consequences of that rather than trying to roll back I've never really had any success in rolling back particularly if you've got it connected to a git repo so by the way this is connected to that bitbucket repo and that's just part of the wizard it's dead easy to set up the um, when you set up setting up your repositories look so we just just connected it to my repo whichever branch and um, that's it dead easy to sell so we'll run a deployment and I'll show you how it works so if I was to run another deployment here I want to click new deployment I'm going to use one of my free ones today and you can see it's real nice it's saying which branch uh, what server it's going to I can change that if I want to but I want to run it to this one master branch it's going from the last commit on the 26th of July to my last commit on the 1st of, of August um, and I want to start it immediately so I'm going to hit deploy and I'm going to keep this running you see I had to pause the video with deploy bot because it took absolutely ages I'm going to keep this running because it's really quite quick so the first thing it's doing there is preparing the release directory so you can see it's creating a new folder in app uh, with the date stamp with a, a Unix code date stamp on it uh, timestamp and then it's just going to run through it so it's already up to sort of the transferring phase so this is asyncing all my files across um, and this I can't remember how many files was in this commit but it'll only be a handful there won't be many it was just composer I think I was installing a plugin and we're just gonna let this run we're gonna let this ride out I am gonna put an affiliate link in the description because I'm cheeky like that so if you're interested in the ploy bot please just click through on that you know get my referral don't know what I'll get don't know what I'll get but there we go it's um transferred the files dead quick look it's linking the folders and now it's running my composer install so that was the first command that was running inside the release folder and um, now I have had some issues with my actual server with Elasticsearch not running now that's going to affect as you all know um, setup upgrade so if that does affect setup upgrade obviously my deploy I think it's going to go through but it's not going to work on the front end but Obviously, I'm just recording. That I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna bother editing this out. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let it go. But it, but what actually, what it'll demonstrate is it'll show me in the um, in the UI here. So it's going through setup upgrade. As I say, it's much nicer looking than deploy. But you can actually follow this. You can see if there's been any issues. Look, um, see, uh, composer's gone through all okay by the looks of things. Um, yeah. And the I compile is currently running. We're up to step nine, uh, five of nine. Eight nine. Next one. So obviously, a lot of this depends on how good your server is as well. But deploy bot, don't, uh, sorry, deploy HQ don't mess around, and it's it's ripping through the next next command there so, so then it's banged up see it's doing it quite quick but it's it's released um, the app folder it's banged maintenance mode on so let's just have a quick look see if that's the case so I should get a maintenance page now with any luck no something's up with the cache there so we ain't got a maintenance page oh we haven't because it was that quick hey that's good isn't it so effectively that appeared like zero downtime didn't it so that was pretty good um, yeah, and that, that's it. It gives you these four steps, and now we're up to date. You can review the deployment depart report, and we'll have a quick look because I want to see if setup upgrade did actually run. I don't think it did. There we go. Look, so it's giving me my error here. It's saying look. So it was quite clever in a, in a way because it didn't. So what it's actually done is all my files are on there now. So now if I wanted to, I could jump on the server, jump into the current folder switch Elasticsearch on because I don't know why it keeps failing um, and then run setup upgrade you know maintenance mode setup upgrade just run them again so it, it, it gives you can be quite tactile with it you, you don't have to do everything automated through this system but what it did was when it, as soon as this 
this died. Now a lot of deployment systems would kill your deploy there and it'd say no chance. But this one can't because it's already switched the release folder. So what it does is it, it just carries on. It carries on, it comes out of maintenance mode and it flushes the cache. Now most of the time that's gonna be okay. Now what's gonna happen now on the front end is I'm gonna have no products. So I'm gonna to have to go and deal with this. Because I'm gonna have nothing in the categories, it's not gonna be great because I've got to restart Elastic Search as we know. But you know, these these things happen and it's nice to be notified of them. You just keep an eye on it when you're running it, jump on. But it's it's not the sort of thing that you're gonna go away and make a cup of tea or something. You can actually sit and watch it because it's fairly rapid. Um Yeah, so that's that's Deploy HQ in a in a real nutshell, but that's what it's really good at. Sort of minimum downtime deploys. I would say get on a free account and give it a try because it's dead easy to set up and it's um, it's much better than anything I've used before. Um, DeployBot, Jenkins, uh, there's probably others. And it, obviously you can deploy all kinds of apps and, and things, you can use it for any, any bit of software, but to be fair, it's the best one that I've found for Magento. So um, I hope that's been useful and I'll, uh, please if you like this content, subscribe to my channel. Uh, comment if you've got any comments on on DeployBot, um, feel free to to bang them in there because that helps the videos. Um, like the video, and I'll see you in the next one.